So one should obviously be make sure to defer or eliminate your capital gains taxes uh, by talking to Brett and his team. Uh, please share your top three wealth secrets that you have learned. It could be personally, it could be through all of these business uh, professionals you work with, financial advisors, or just your personal financial advising um, history. So what, what are your top three wealth secrets that you have learned? Sure. Top three wealth secrets. So one should obviously be make sure to defer or eliminate your capital gains taxes um, by talking to Brett and his team. Number two, um, <laughs> sh no problem. Happy to plug. Number two, um, I read one sentence in one book that a friend of mine wrote. Um, the friend wrote the book. He had his accounting expert wrote one chapter. There was one sentence in there that cut my tax rate almost in half. Um, and it was the difference between taking your income as W-2 income versus taking some of your dividend, your, your income as like dividend distributions as a shareholder in your own company. I am not an accountant and don't play one on TV. However, that my accountant applying, I had to go through seven accountants to find one who knew what that meant and knew how to do it. But once they did it, it cut my taxes about in half. Um, so that would be number two. And then number three, there are, we do for a lot of our higher net worth clients, um, they make way too much to put any money in a Roth IRA. However, we came up with a strategy that we call the mega Roth IRA and my financial services practice, which allows you to put as much money as you want after taxes away and have it come out with the growth tax free later. Um, so that is a whole nother service that that company offers that obviously if you're getting that money tax free when you couldn't otherwise get it can make a huge difference in your nest egg.